Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this model pop-up to your Blogger website. Now this is how it works. If I refresh this page, we can see after 2 seconds this model is loaded on the screen. Now when this model is loaded, we also set a timer in the browser using cookies. So once the timer runs out, this model will once again be displayed to the visitor. For now, I have set the timer to 10 seconds. So if I refresh this page, and if I refresh this once again, the pop-up will not be displayed over here. But if I wait for 10 seconds and if I refresh this page again, we can see that the pop-up is displayed over here. Now in a real website, you won't be setting a timer for 10 seconds. You will set a timer for a few days. And I will show you how to change the timer in the code. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, this is my blogger website and we're going to add the model to this website right here. So let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website. Now if you want to add this model to any of your posts or pages in your blogger website, you can go to those posts or pages and uh, after going into the post or the page, you can just add the code over here. First of all, you have to go to the HTML view and just copy and paste the source code over here. But we will add the model to the website as a whole. So for that, let's go to the theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And let's go to our source code. So this is our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. The first thing we will do is we'll copy the link of the font and also this font awesome icons. So let's copy everything from here till here. And uh, let's paste it over here inside the head section. So this is the head section. So I'll just paste it over here. Now let's add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the style or CSS file and let's copy everything from here and let's paste it over here. So if you scroll down, here you can see the CSS of the theme. So let's go to the end of the CSS and here I'll just make some space and I'll just paste the CSS over here. Now let's go back and let's go to our index.html file and let's copy the HTML. So I'll just copy everything from here till here. And let's copy it and let's go to the end of the theme code. And here just before the body ends, I'll just add the HTML. And now let's also add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And I'll just copy everything from here. And let's paste it over here. Now if you take a look at this uh, JavaScript code, here we can see this is the max age of the cookie. So this is basically the timer that we're going to set for the model. So right now it is set to 10 seconds. Now you can change this to whatever you want. So if you want to set it to 2 days, you can just look for how many seconds are there in 2 days and just add that over here. And then if you scroll down here, we can see this is uh, the delay for the model at the beginning. So right now it is set to 2000, which means 2 seconds. So this model will be displayed 2 seconds after the page load. Now if you want to change this, you can just change it over here. You can change this to whatever you want. If you don't want any delay, you can just set it to 0. Right now let's click on save. And here we can see we have some errors in our code. So we have to go to line number 10. And here we can see we have some problems with the cross origin attribute over here. So let's just delete this. And now let's save it once more. And now we have another problem on line number 12. So this is line number 12 and here we can see we have this ampersand symbol so whenever you have this ampersand symbol in an xml code you have to change it to ampersand amp semicolon and uh, let's click on save and now we don't have any problems in our code so let's go to our website and uh, let's refresh this page And here we can see that our model is displayed over here and uh, we have some problems in the styling. We don't have the correct Z index for the overlay. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And if we scroll down, here we can see this is the model overlay. So let's click on that. And here we need to add a Z index. So let's type Z index. Let's set it to 100. And let's see whether it solves the problem. So I think it solves the problem. So let's add a Z index of 100 to the model overlay and uh, I think we can also increase the darkness of the model overlay. So let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the CSS. 
And here we can see this is the CSS for the model overlay. So let's add a Z index over here. And let's set it to 100. And here for the background color, let's set it to 0 0.7 for the opacity. All right now, let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the model overlay is displayed over here. Now for this text, we need to have white color and for this text, we need to have dark color. So here we can see we have this dark color and this white color over here. So let's change the colors in our CSS. Let's go back. If we scroll down here, we can see for model left S3, we need to set the color to white. And on the right side, we have an H2. So for this H2, let's set a color of black and let's save it. All right now, let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see everything looks all right. So that's basically how you add a model to your blogger website. Now you can go ahead and add the link of whatever page you want over here in the get discount button over here. So if you go back to our source code, and if you go to the index.html file, here we can see this is the button, this anchor tag. So instead of this hash, you can just add the link of your page. And you can also change the text of the button, the text of the headings and all of that over here. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you want to learn how to design this from scratch, I have videos on that. You can go ahead and check that out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code in the description so you can go ahead and check that out. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.